Hey guys, Stars here, and I wanted to let everyone know um, I will be swapping swapping from mouse and keyboard to controller. As much as I don't want to, I am. So, let's address the elephant in the room. Halo Infinite is primarily controller dominated because of the huge amount of aim assist that controllers have. And it really is sad because I want to compete in Halo, but I literally can't get past a certain plateau because of the fact that I am not playing on controller. And it is really disappointing. I played Halo on controller before, uh, back in the day. You know, back in Halo 1 through 3, and then I stopped playing just Halo in general. Um, but while alongside of playing on the controller, I was playing on mouse and keyboard other games like Unreal Tournament. And I thought, well, since this game's coming out for both, maybe I can compete with the mouse and keyboard. Well, Season 1, I got about 1700. Um, I got about 1700 area on a mouse, and I could not get further. So I stopped playing, because I just don't want to swap my controller. But I really love Halo. Well, fast forward, they supposedly buff the mouse. Um, I can see where some buffs are there, and I can also see where it just sometimes it doesn't feel like they actually did anything. Um, and that to me is unfortunate, because the sniping is always great. I have loads of clips of on my channel of me sniping the living crap out of people. But I have very little clips of me just dominating with a controller. Or not a controller, I'm sorry, with the battle rifle. And I have some clips, but they're not as out there. And, and, and it's disappointing because I feel like I lose a lot of gunfights, not because the guy is better, but simply because the guy is on the controller and I'm on a mouse. Because the aim assist is more or less aimbotting for them. Now, I can't prove that 100%. Um, but that's what I feel like. There's times where... And I don't know if this is desync, but playing on a mouse with high ping is damn near impossible. Because you're sitting here hitting all these shots, supposedly, but they're not actually hitting. And it's... You could say it's the same for controller, but it's not because, you know, the micro adjustments you would make on a mouse are not feasible on high ping. So here I am with two alternatives. Quit a game and a franchise I love that's ran by a company that absolutely hates mouse and keyboard players and seems to hate Halo in general, but, you know, it is what it is. Or... Do I keep playing, swap to a controller, and see if I can adjust to being back on a controller again? And that's where I don't know what I want to do. Because I love this community. I love the people in it. I love watching the streamers. You know, it is a good community for the most part. And here I am, confused and conflicted. Because I feel like... 343 has purposely alienated a huge audience and player base in mouse and keyboard players. And I'm not saying make mouse and keyboard unbelievable. I'm saying make mouse and keyboard feasible. Make it to where we aren't getting just completely outgunned by controllers. Like, without skill. Make it actually, like, feel like a mouse has a, a, a fighting chance. Because even at long range, like with the battle rifle, there really is no actual advantage for the mouse. The only time that the mouse has an advantage is in the sniper, in my opinion. Um, I do think you can have better movement with a mouse and keyboard. I really do. People say that a controller has better movement, but I completely disagree. I think you can have absolutely god-tier movement with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, just because of the, just just because of the absolute dominance that you can 
do like you can do so many different things at one time with a mouse and keyboard that you can't do with a controller. So my movement is probably going to be way better on a mouse and keyboard, but it doesn't matter against higher ranked players because after a certain point, if you're not just like hitting all your shots, you just you just lose and die, and it's really obnoxious because it's like it, it really is disappointing when you have worked so hard to play on a mouse and keyboard and it feels like players who are shit shittier than you that are garbage are beating you because you're not on a controller and i know i'm not the only person that feels that way because the mouse and keyboard player base has completely vanished outside of a handful of players and it really is disappointing when all you want is just to be able to play the game and compete. Hope you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe.